Hi everyone, welcome to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Today we have the Honor Band 6 with us, a new addition to the Honor family, and of course the Honor Watch ES, which came out about a month ago. So this is more like a hybrid smartwatch, but they just look way too similar. In fact, both use the same charger. So today we're going to be putting these two trackers in a head-to-head -head comparison to find out which one is best or which one suits your needs best. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. Let's use this comparison to find out if it's actually worth to spend more on the ES or does the Honor Band 6 suffice? Before we dive in, let's introduce the contenders. The Honor Watch ES, it does practically everything that its older siblings are doing, like the Magic Watch 2, except a couple of striking differences. Firstly, it misses out on inbuilt GPS. Secondly, it's got a long rectangular display, which feels like an oversized fitness tracker. And thirdly, you can't download music to the watch. And it costs 90 quid or $120. And now a short intro on the Honor Band 6. The main points to mention are it's a fitness tracker of the future. It's got a massive 1.5 inch AMOLED display. It's got a physical button instead of the awkward capacitive button under the screen, bringing it closer to a smartwatch. It even has the Honor inscription on the side. The price is just 40 quid or $50. And now that the introductions are finally done, we can get into the comparison and we'll structure it in the usual way. So first of all, we will have the design, then we'll get into the display, and then we'll talk about the features and functions. Starting with the obvious, both are rectangular and feel just like oversized fitness trackers. Dimensions for the ES are 46 by 30 millimeters, while band 6 is just 43 by 25.4 millimeters. Thickness of the two bands is actually almost identical. The watch ES is just 10.7 millimeters, while the band 6 is 10.8. Weight wise, the ES is just 21 grams without the straps, while the band 6 is 18.3 grams. I doubt you'll feel those 3 grams though. But if the Honor Band 6 looks more natural and feels just right on top of your wrist, the ES feels like a jumbo jet in comparison to the Band 6. Both are waterproof up to 50 meters, both feature 2.5D scratch resistant glass and both have awesome straps that are soft and flexible and don't cause irritation to your skin. Thankfully, both also have classic watch-like clasps that make it so easy to slip on or off even during workouts. And now we can touch upon the display of these two trackers because there are some differences. The ES has a huge 1.64 inch AMOLED display while Band 6 has a slightly smaller 1.47 inch AMOLED screen. Both look great. Spanning across your wrist, the watch face spans from edge to edge, the bezels on both are rather slim and shame many smartwatches out there. Because these two displays are actually AMOLED, the colors are very bright, the contrast is high and the blacks just feel so deep. If we talk about the resolution, it is better on the ES, with 456 pixels by 280. On the Honor Band 6, we've got 368 by 194 pixels. So in terms of pixel density, we get 326 PPI on the ES, and we get 283 on the Honor Band 6. Mind you, 326 PPI is currently considered best in class because the Apple Watch Series 6 also has a resolution of 326 PPI. There are plenty of downloadable faces on both and also from either Android or iOS phones. In fact, I have the Band 6 currently connected to my iPhone 12 and the Watch ES is connected with Samsung S10. There is no difference whatsoever. But as we know, the devil is in the details, so let's dig further in. Both trackers have brightness levels, but the ES takes the upper hand because it also includes an auto brightness option. On top of that, the ES has always on display, while the Band 6 doesn't. Just before we get into the features and functions, let's touch upon sensors, because I was actually quite surprised to find out that the ES is not that much superior to the Honor Band 6 in terms of hardware. Both have the heart rate monitor, an accelerometer, a gyroscope, a blood oxygen monitor, but both miss out on GPS, barometer, cadence sensors, altimeter, and compass. 
And finally, we come to the features and functions. Let's kick off with sports. Both trackers have auto sport detection for walking, running, rowing, and elliptical workouts. Both are waterproof and you can take them to the pool or the shower and so forth. Honor in general offers goal-based workouts on any of their watches and trackers. So including these two, of course, as well. But if the Band 6 just has the 10 generic sport modes, the ES is a track athlete in comparison. There are 95 sport and activity modes, ranging from common ones like outdoor running, cycling, and indoor running to more interesting and niche ones like Latin dancing, Tai Chi, cricket, and even boating. On top of that, there are 12 animated workout courses. That's 44 distinct animated gestures. This is actually an amazing piece of kit. The animated exercises with gesture demonstration is a dream to look at. And on top of that, they are great for the user. That's you and I. It ensures we do exercises the right way first time round. Both watches monitor your sleep using the infamous True Sleep tech for sleep stages monitoring. The famous fact about True Sleep is that it is actually certified by the Harvard Medical School. This tech provides you with details on light, deep, and REM sleep, and even supplies sleep scores and personalized insights on how to get a better night's sleep. Both trackers have True Relax, which is actually a stress level monitor that can be used on demand or tracked continuously throughout the day in the background. On top of that, whenever you are feeling stressed out or having a panic attack, there is a guided breathing app to help you relax and lower stress levels via guided breathing exercises. Both the Honor Watch ES and the Band 6 have the on-demand SpO2 monitors, which provide on-demand measurement of the oxygen saturation level in your blood. This is a crucial addition considering this medical tech feature can forewarn of respiratory conditions, sleep apnea, and so much more. For the rest of the basic features, these two trackers are almost identical. So they do a step count, there's continuous heart rate monitoring, they've got the vibration intensity options, uh, you also get your stopwatch, your timer, you also get your alarms, notification management, you even get the torch in both. So they are quite similar in that regard. But I think now we really need to ask ourselves the question, well, which one do I actually need? Is it the more pricey ES or can the Honor Band 6 suffice? In my mind, there are just factors that you need to consider when choosing between the ES and the Honor Band 6. So the first factor is size. If you have more slender wrists, then the Honor Band 6 will look better on your wrist as the watch ES is rather large. The second factor is sport functionality. If you are into sports and activities, then the 95 sport modes as well as a dedicated animated workouts app is better suited than the generic 10 sport modes you get on the Honor Band 6. Thank you for watching Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. If you do find the content useful and interesting, then please do click on the subscribe button below the video to make sure you don't miss out any of the future content coming out. 